hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel once again it's Sinus graphics here it's been a very long time in this particular video i'll be showing you guys how you can create a glow effect for flyers on your smartphone let's dive into it so open your chrome browser this is we are starting from scratch then search for a brush stroke effect and input it now let's get the one we not want All these are having a watermark. Yeah, let's let's use this. Then you download the image. The next thing I'll be downloading is the glow overlay. Overlay, yeah. No, no, I don't need the PNG. Just the overlay. It should be something like this, but I don't want that Marvel stuff on top of it. Okay, let's let's use this. Then download it now let's get a model image let me just search for a smiling lady yeah okay my zone so let me just select this and I'll remove the background then I'll download it. Yeah, then download PNG. Yeah, that's done. Check out of this place and open up the lab. So I'm putting a new project, then I will import our stroke effect we downloaded because it's not PNG. Oh, I don't think that project, that image is. Let's just use this. I have this before. So just import this. Let's use this one. That's cooler. Yeah. So you remove the background. Then increase the tolerance. Then I'll change the color to what to black. To black. Or oh, let's let's use white. Then relative size, increase it to 100. Then background transparent. I'll save this as image and ultra. To make the quality be sharp yeah so now you delete this then create a new background let's use let's use this okay then you press okay nice so now you save it as image then ultra Save it to your gallery. Right now, we are making use of our PSCC. This is the application here. Yeah. So you open it. It is PSCC 2019. Then you add from your photo library the background we created. Then I will import the background. Yeah. Right now, I'll import the stroke effects as PNG. So let's select your gallery, then select the effects. Yeah. So I'm adjusting this to the area I want it to be. Can you see that? So I want it like this, then I'll mark it. So right now, I'm duplicating this. Then the second one, the new one, duplicated. You select here and select your pixels then i will change the color to the color of the background so just use the eyedropper tool to drag and select that color yeah then mark it so i will select this and make the layer invisible right now the white one i will make it a glass effect so you move here the fx then you select stylize then you select the glass so i'm increasing the amount and the scale yeah i want it like this i want it like this So next thing now, this one also, I'll make it visible, then duplicate it. Before duplicating, you have to add a Gaussian blur. So you move to your FX and select basic and select Gaussian blur. Yeah. So you max it out. Max it out, yeah. Then right now, I'm duplicating the layer. Yeah. So the new one duplicated, you make it invisible. Then the bottom one, you give it 
an effect, a blending effect, which is linear dodge. Can you see that? Can you see the light? Yeah. So right now, you give that also the glass effect. The one on the linear dodge blend mode, give it the glass effect also, same thing. Then the one invisible, allow it, then give that also the blend mode. Yeah. Right now, I'll import our character image. Yeah, this is it. Can you see that? Then you allow it like that. Now you import the glow effect we downloaded from our gallery. So I have to remove this upper part of it. Just use this tool over here. And I will select it like this. And I'll clear. Yeah. And I will deselect it. Right now, this layer you give it a Gaussian blur. You max it out. Yeah. So now select the pixels and let's change the color. So you can just use the color balance. You have to play around here with it. Yeah, I think this is it. This is it. Yeah. So right now, you deselect it, then give it a blend mode, which is screen. Yeah, screen. Then transform the image and drag it to the area you want your light. Yeah, I'll duplicate it, transform it, and move it here also. Yeah, increase the blur because the bottom part is cut away. Yeah, so one more, duplicate it one more time, then transform it. Right now here, you move to your extras, then you change it to log, log aspect ratio, you tap it. So you can adjust it like this. So I just have to add the light effect here, can you see that? Yes, so you increase the blur again. I don't want it much this time. Yeah, and that's it. As you can see, the effect is ready. Then you can just save the image and export it to your gallery. Can you see that? Yeah, it's very easy step. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Have a nice day guys. Bye bye.